Hi, and welcome to a first in a tutorial series about Unity 3D and C Sharp, the, my chosen programming language for doing Unity game development. Uh, first, a moment uh, about my website, me, and where you can find more Unity resources. So I do software consulting. Some of the technologies are listed there, including Unity. A bit about me, I've been making software for 12, 13 years and done both the creative and the technical side, um, both the programming side as well as training. Uh, we'll have uh, revellomultimedia.com slash unity set up and that will house these videos as well as other articles and things. That's one stop if you want to check in there every once in a while and see if I've noted anything new about the Unity technology. So taking a step back, if we just look up Unity 3D from Google, we'll of course find the official website as the first result. Looking at their website, I'm just going to step across some open tabs I have for their top menu here. Uh, first of all, what is Unity? What can you do with it? Unity is uh, six, seven years old, something like that, and started out as the IDE itself, the tool you use to create content, and then a browser plugin for desktop computers where you could play that content. It's always been game specific, but you could do some other creative projects with it too. It now targets things far beyond just uh, desktop browsers. You can make desktop games for uh, downloadable as well that run on Windows, Linux, and uh, Mac, of course, then you can target lots of different console gaming and mobile devices. Pretty much everything out there you can target. You create one project, one set of assets, and you're able to deploy to all of those different formats. Here's another list of that stuff as well. Uh, there's a gallery on the site if you want to see what other people are doing, what people have launched as live free projects, live paid projects. You can play some of them. Um, it's not always obvious while you're playing software what tools created it, um, but you'll find that a lot of great stuff is done with Unity. It's very capable. Uh, one of the nice things about the Unity environment is that the community is very active. There's just been announced that there's 2 million developers who have uh, registered as Unity um, IDE users. So I think that that is 400,000 active users every month. There's a nice community there that uh, helps you find good tutorials and good uh, example projects, lots of good game content out there. And the Unity sponsored asset store is where as a developer you can find free and for pay toolkits that help you make 2D games like the example here 3D models, animation, sound, um, sound effects, music, a lot of the assets that you're going to want for a project you're going to be able to find there. Now those assets, particularly the free ones, are very useful when you're developing a project and then maybe as you finish the project up you'd contact your own artist to get your final assets done. Uh, so Unity is available in two versions. There's a pro version which is as listed here $75 a month or $1,500 one-time fee. So it is quite pricey, but the quality of what you can do is, with Pro is uh, everything that you can do in the free version, which is what our tutorial series will involve, and then some additional things. But the free version, unlike some other software packages, the free version of Unity is very capable. You can create a complete project, launch it, uh, on even on iOS and Android now, all completely included with that free, uh, free license and there's no necessary uh, logo to show. You don't have to give attribution to Unity itself. Um, the only reason you'd step up to the Pro version is if you want some of the Pro-only features, which you can see that breakdown listed on their site as well. Um, so there's lots of good U Unity official learning resources. Um, in the Learn section, you'll find video tutorials. Um, you'll find the documentation for the tool itself explaining the processes you'll want to go through to import things, export things, etc., uh, as well as the script reference. So if you want to know the specific way to code something like adding a light to your scene with code, turning the light on, and making the light yellow, uh, you can see the API for that. Um, so you go to the download, download the tool. Here we're up to 4.1.5, but they're regularly updating that. And this is the free version. You go ahead and download that, and then you'll be able to follow along with the rest of the series. So assuming you download the tool and install it, um, this is what it's going to look like when you first 
uh, first open up the project. Let me see uh, where welcome screen. So when you first open it, there'll be a welcome screen, which links you back to some of those areas that we just looked at. So the tool um, opens for the very first time with a free project provided by Unity called Angry Bots. So let's take a quick look at that. I'm able to load in what is called the scene view. One of the scenes, it's a collection of assets. I'm able to hit play, and within just a few seconds... The audio cut me off there. Within a few seconds, you're able to jump right in and play that, then add some assets, code to it, and then play it again. The iteration between editing and playing is very fast. Each time you need to deploy a final version to your end device, be it an Xbox 360, the web browser, or your mobile, the compilation process takes a bit longer, but initially it's just a few seconds in this cycle. You can see we have a very complex project here with lots of assets, so it, it performs very well. Now where do you do your coding? Well, the code sits within your project here. This project uses JavaScript, but all my tutorials will use another option of C Sharp, which is a more mature language, and I think the community generally agrees is more powerful uh, for your needs. But JavaScript is what's provided here in this example. and if I was to open that up in the free editor provided by Unity, it opens in a second window. It's called Mono Develop. And so you would be coding to this. You get auto completion that you'd expect, IntelliSense, code hinting. Um, when you go to use a method, it will give you documentation on, you know, what is the next attribute it expects you to pass into that, um, etc. Uh, then you'd come back and you'd hit play and you'd be able to see the results. So it's very quick. Uh, quick iteration cycle. In summary, welcome to the video series. We learned a little bit about me and also about Unity, what it is and what we can do with it. Stay tuned to future videos.